My spouse is never going to find out about this. My kids will never know. We tell ourselves these things, but the biblical reality is that, that when we sin, when we wander down paths that God doesn't have for us, and when we head down the wrong way, the truth is we're already caught because God knows, and God's the one who matters the most. We know, and almost invariably, someone's going to find out, and then everyone's going to know. And, and so these words from, from uh, Proverbs chapter 6, beginning in verse uh, 28, uh, it, it asks a series of questions. Uh, I'm going to begin in verse 27, and I'll read through verse 29. Here's the question. Can a person scoop fire into their lap without their clothes being burned? What's the answer? No way. Here's the next question. Can a person walk on hot coals without their feet being scorched? The answer? No. Verse 29, so is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. The point here is that every action has an equal and opposite and sometimes greater reaction, right? And, and when it comes to sin, you can say, you know, you can say in terms of physics, equal and opposite, but with sin, sometimes it's, it's a pushback that's almost worse than the sin you commit yourself, and especially in our culture today where there's people being canceled and someone does something and all of a sudden things blow up. And so the need to be cautious is important. So, so here's what you learn in the passage. If you put fire in your lap, you get burned. If you walk on coals, you're going to scorch your feet. And if you commit sin, there's a price. In this passage, it uses the example of adultery, of, of sexual sin, because this whole Proverbs 5, 6, and 7 are circling around this massive topic of sexual purity, of righteousness in our lives, of decisions of how we conduct ourselves with, with our bodies, and with our sexuality. But understand this, God is clear that our sins always cost. And here's the reality, if you're a follower of Jesus, our sins cost the suffering and the death of Jesus. He willingly gave his life to pay the price for our sins with his own blood, with his own sacrifice. And so, I, I, would, just, I would just encourage you to recognize the, the spiritual reality that the Bible says again and again, that there's not secrets when it comes to our sins. And can I tell you, I've been a pastor for over 35 years now. I've never had somebody sit down with me and say, you know, pastor, I have to admit something. I, I did this and this and this, and I cut away with it my whole life. Nobody ever caught me. But I could tell you countless stories people who have sat down with me and say, Pastor, um, I got along, started walking this path, started living this way, started making these decisions, doing these things that were wrong, they were sinful, and it came out, and my life blew up, and I'm trying to put the pieces back together again. God wants the best for you. So recognize when you're starting to step towards sin, and even think to yourself, what are the consequences that could come from this? What would happen if this became public and my kids knew, my spouse knew, my boss knew, my friends knew? Because God knows, and we've got to learn to, to recognize that, that every action has a reaction. There's something that comes from it. When it comes to our sin, there's always consequences. Lord Jesus, thank you that your death on the cross, the price you paid, and your resurrection have conquered sin and death and hell. We live in hope. We live in grace. But we pray for the power to say no to the enticements of sin that are out there. Sexual sin or any kind of sin. Help us grow in holiness and become more and more like you. When we stumble and fall, we rely on your grace. But let us never sin because you offer grace. Let us strive to live for you, we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I always encourage you, find a church home. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll see you Sunday morning on campus or online. If you're part of another church, uh, be part of the body of Christ. Connect with God's people. Blessings. Have a great day.